to show you how to construct an SPSS using the chart builder is a Pareto chart. Recall that a Pareto chart reports the most frequently occurring response in the leftmost bar, followed by the next most frequently recurring bar, then the next most frequently recurring bar. What we'll do is come up under Graph, open the Chart Builder, and I'll use the same variable that we have thus far. This time, I'll change the chart title here to be a Pareto chart. Oops, I did not save it. Let's go back and click on Title 1, Pareto chart, and Apply. We should be able to scroll down to see what the footnote is that's currently in it, the same footnote. I'll go back and I'll add Title 2, and that is Respondent Marital Status. So it keeps the information that was stored before in the previous run, and we have to go back and modify the portions of it that are different this time. Now I'll still be using a bar chart, so everything else is fine. I'll click OK, and now we'll scroll down to our chart. Again, move the cursor on top of the chart anywhere. Double click to activate the chart editor. Once that comes up, what I will do is move my cursor on top of one of the bars. And if I click the left mouse button once, you notice the properties window for this chart open up. And what I'll do here is click on the Categories tab under Properties if it's not already selected. And you notice down below or under Order in that window, it indicates the order of the bars that are reported. Marital, widowed, divorced, separated, never married, in that order. Now presently, it has them ascending value, and that's not the frequency or the percentage. Instead, it's the actual value. One was coded for married, two for widowed, three was entered for divorce, four for separated, and five is entered for single or never married. We could change that instead to make it descending, and what that would do is reverse the order, so it would be never married as the leftmost bar, followed by separated, then divorced, then widowed, and married. So when it says sort by value up here, ascending or descending, that refers to the actual numerical label each response is given when we create the data set. Instead, what I wanted to do, to do is reorder the bars based upon their frequency. Now you notice married is the most frequent, it's the tallest bar we see in our chart, so that should be the first one as it is, but never married should be the second bar moving from the left. So I'll move under order, move my cursor on top of the label never married, and now I'll click the up button so it is positioned just below married. I'll do the same thing for divorce, it should be between up it should be just after never married and then widowed and separated are in the proper order based upon the bar height. Once I click apply you notice now that our bars are placed in order from most frequent on most left to the least frequent and that is a Pareto chart. What I can also do here at this point is each bar stand out as unique and separate from the others is to change the color of each one of the bars. So I will close the Properties window that was open before. And you'll notice that when I move my cursor on top of any one of the bars and click the left mouse button once, they are highlighted as indicated by the light orangish line that's drawn around each of the bars. If I move my cursor once all the bars are highlighted on top of one of the bars and click the left mouse button once, you'll notice what happens here is only that bar is highlighted. So once that bar is highlighted on its own, I'll double click to bring up the Properties window. And now what I'll do is I'll come over to the Fill Border tab, select that, and instead of that tan color, let's say I'll choose, first of all, choose Fill, indicate what you're going to change, and I'll choose the deep red color and click Apply. Now if I double click on Never Married, it now becomes 
the selected bar and I can go back again to the properties window for the bars click on fill and let's say I'll use a little bit lighter red to represent that bar click applied come back to divorced double click on that bar and I'll select the orange apply I'll leave the widowed with that tan color that it currently has and then for separate it I'll double click that bar to highlight it and now I'll choose for fill color choose the fill option first and then select the color to change it to and now I'll click apply and now I've created a really nice Pareto chart that has given each of the bars a separate color and I will close the chart editor now to go back to our output and there you see in the output window the log now contains our modified Pareto chart